So what type of runner are you? Are you a heel striking runner where you land on your heel and roll through with each stride? Or are you a four foot striking runner landing on the balls of your feet? In today's video, I'm gonna look at the difference between the two types of running technique and the trade-off that occurs between those two different types of foot strike and relate it to your own injury history. So let's get straight into this. So the important thing to appreciate is that when it comes to running form, we can't just change our form and do away with forces at certain joints and not have to consider those forces anymore. It's just like any type of physics, force can't just be lost, instead it gets moved around and transferred. That's the underpinning principle to all of this. So whichever way you break it down, running is a high impact, high load activity. So whether I'm running with a heel strike, whether I'm running with a forefoot strike, either way, I have to deal with my body weight coming down over the top of the landing foot and the impact that comes back with that. The question is where that impact goes. So if I'm running with a heel strike, which so often also comes with a slight overstride, so landing further in front of myself, then the initial impact that comes back at my body with that initial contact is experienced ankle, knee, hip, up through the kinetic chain. And that initial impact a lot of the time runners tend to experience in terms of knee pain if injury is going to start to kick in. So obviously that's a big generalization. There are lots of different types of injuries, but in terms of the sorts of injuries that overstriding heel striking runners do tend to get, it's things like patellofemoral pain, so runner's knee, it's things like tibial stress fractures, even things like anterior compartment syndrome around the front of the outside of the shin. They're your classic kinds of injuries that heel striking runners pick up because they're the tissues that get overloaded with this type of heel striking pattern. Now, if we were to move a heel striking runner to more of a forefoot striking pattern, we know that's going to take a little bit of the stress and strain off, for example, the knee, the patellofemoral joint. We know that it's going to put the ankle in a different position at initial contact, which means that the initial eccentric load on muscles like tibialis anterior are going to be less. So we're less likely to be dealing with things like anterior compartment syndrome, but we need to appreciate that force has to go somewhere. So in reducing the stress on the knee, we end up putting more demand around the ankle. So our Achilles, our calf complex end up working a lot harder to dissipate that initial load. So we know that with those two different types of running style, if one is more stressful for the calf and Achilles complex and the other more stressful around the, the knee in particular, then we can start to make some sensible decisions based on our individual running injury histories about how we should potentially start to think about maybe changing our running style or not. Yeah, maybe leaving it alone. Maybe it's nothing to do with your running style, your injury history, and it's more to do with errors you've made in your training. But when we're thinking about running style, if I've got someone with knee pain and they're overstriding, then logic would dictate that perhaps bringing them to more of a midfoot to forefoot strike would help reduce the knee, uh, the, the stress and strain around the knee. Whereas if I've got someone who's exactly the same in as much as the fact they're overstriding and heel striking, and they're dealing with Achilles problems, they're dealing with pain in their Achilles tendon or calf problems, then I probably don't want to take them and throw them up onto the balls of their feet. We need to appreciate the way in which those different types of foot strike put different stress and strain in different areas of the body and start to think about where our own injuries have occurred in the past and if it's appropriate to perhaps make a subtle change to offload the previously injured area or if making a change might put more stress and strain on that injured area. And that's exactly why making big changes to your running style is never a good idea. Making small changes is by far the safest way to go because it allows your body within the kind of parameters of what it's used to, just to start to work on making small improvements over time and adapting as you go, rather than suddenly taking the stress and strain from one place and moving it to another where perhaps your body's not ready for that stress and strain to go. In fact, if you want to learn a little bit more about how to improve your running style when it comes to your foot strike, then check out the video that I uploaded to the channel here a few weeks ago 
which talks about far more detailed approaches to actually starting to just improve your foot strike, make it a little bit more efficient and a little bit better for you when it comes to running light underfoot. So go check that out.